This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. I have another exciting episode for you. Now, I'm not doubling a juicer, a blender, or a dehydrator today. What I am doing, and you may know where I'm at, I'm actually in the bathroom, and I'm going to make an episode today regarding shower filters and shower filtration. We have this Sprite uh, HO, or High Output Shower Filter, right here that I'll be talking about in a second. But the reason for this episode is very important. I mean, we all know that if you want to be healthy, you should drink uh, chlorine-free water. So I recommend filtering your own water at home instead of buying bottled water because if you buy bottled water then you're contributing to a lot of plastic going into the environment because most plastics are actually uh, thrown away and not actually recycled. And if you still do buy water in plastic bottles then I encourage you to recycle them but even better and less expensive than continuing that unsustainable practice and having to lug water from the store to your house is to just get a good water filter in your home. You know, at the point of use, at your kitchen sink, that's going to take out all the bad stuff and leave all the pure water and the good stuff in. And that's going to be actually in another video. But so we know to drink chlorine-free water, but what about when we shower? When you shower, you may actually absorb more chlorine than by drinking some water because the chlorine is now being put into the air because it's being atomized when it comes out of the shower head. So your skin and hair doesn't deal too well with chlorine some signs of uh, maybe excess chlorine is dry and flaky skin or hair that's kind of like brittle and not so soft and shiny. So luckily I have shower filters on my showers in home and uh, sometimes I'll even travel with a shower filter as well to filter the water when I'm staying at a hotel. And that's where the Sprite high output shower filter can come in. It has basically a one year cartridge. So this, this shower filter you could uh, take it apart and uh, put a new cartridge in when uh, after a year or 10,000 gallons and this one works on a KDF media. The KDF media is basically a filtration media that converts the chlorine into a harmless minerals that come out and then you know your hair will actually get softer, your skin will also get softer. One of the things I did for my mom one year was give them a shower filter and she went to the same hairdresser for a long time and uh, my mom went in for a haircut one day after I gave her the shower filter and the hairdresser said hey you know what are you doing to your hair it's like really nice are you using a new conditioner a new shampoo and she said nope my son got me a shower filter so yes they absolutely do really work and uh, this is the one that I recommend at this time now if you do have chloramine which is not the same as chlorine or you have well water this filter is not the filter for you this is for filtering standard water that has chlorine. So you want to check with your water agency or water department to see if they're adding chloramine, which is harder to remove, or the chlorine. I think that's pretty much it. It says softer skin and hair, high output filtration, great for the entire family, one year filter cartridge, easy installation, no tools required. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how easy this shower filter is to install. Now as long as you have a standard shower head on your home, that's the uh, half inch size, this shower filter will go right on. The shower filter also includes a low flow shower head. It's a 2.5 gallons per minute. So adding this shower filter may also actually save you some water. Although you don't need to use the shower head on here, I would recommend you use a low flow shower head with this filter because that's gonna increase the amount of contact time the water is coming in contact with the filter so it's gonna remove more chlorine. If you, have a, if you have a shower head that pumps out more than 2.5 gallons a minute, number one, you're wasting water. Number two, the water may not be filtered as much. So in many cases, I just recommend using the, you know, the shower head that comes with it. In addition, you can't unscrew this shower head that comes with this and actually put on your own handheld if you already have one as well. This will accommodate most standard shower heads, including uh, hands-free ones. So the first step is we need to remove the old shower head to do that. Just got a standard pliers here. You could use a wrench. Uh, these are my favorite type of pliers, I call them duckbill pliers. And we're just going to come up here and grab onto this and turn. So remember, righty tighty lefty loosey. So we're moving this left and we're easily uh, spinning this old uh, shower head off. And uh, once you got it a little bit loose, you can then just uh, use your hand and it just spins right off. And when you do this, you may get a couple drips of water, that's fine. What you're going to do is you're going to see the threads there and what you want to do on these threads or you want to add some Teflon tape on the threads to ensure you get a proper seal and then you're going to go ahead and put on the new shower filter. Uh, this is very simple, very easy. The one thing you want to remember is not to over tighten this as you can crack 
the uh, shower filter housing. So we're just going to go ahead and line this up and you want to make sure not to cross thread it and all you're going to simply do is just screw that on and go until you get you know some kind of resistance but you don't want to go too much like once you it, once it starts hitting the rubber uh, gasket in there you want to maybe do like another half turn and I mean it's all installed so next we could go ahead and turn the shower on and we're going to check for leaks. Here we go. So there we go. It's uh, working all right and I'm oh I'm seeing a little bit of leakage out of the seam here so if that happens I'll show you guys what to do. So there was some leakage sometimes when it comes from the factory it's not all the way tight. No problem we're gonna just go ahead and take this off. Alright so I, I got this unscrewed now this can be a little bit difficult to unscrew. Let me go ahead and show you the different parts. Here's one end and here's the o-ring and the o-ring simply seats inside here and make sure it goes in the groove. If you do take this apart if the o-ring's not in there it's gonna leak. Uh, the other side here, once again, we have the other O-ring and that goes inside there very simply and very easily. Then we're going to take our filter cartridge. Now this filter cartridge is reversible, so you could put it in either direction. Maybe after a half year you might want to reverse the direction, you know, open it up and flip it around. We're just going to put that in there and now we're just going to basically tighten this up and crank it down. Now we're just going to tighten this up and we should be all ready to go. Simply just spin it on once again, uh, don't cross thread this on there. And then now that we got it all screwed on, and we're making good contact, doesn't screw easily anymore, it's making good contact, we're going to go ahead and turn it on and make sure there's no leaks. Okay, there we go, so we got it on, and this is an adjustable shower head. We got one option there with a small stream, or you could turn this, and you could get more like of a rain effect. Actually, I prefer this one. And now you want to check for leaks around the rim of the uh, shower filter and I'm not seeing or feeling any leaks. So now we're all set and ready to go and you can now shower in filtered water and I'm confident that you will see softer hair and softer skin. And I always encourage you to use natural based soaps and products on your skin. A lot of the chemical based shampoos and conditioners you know, may really mess up your hair and skin. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this episode learning about the Sprite High Output Shower Filter. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.